Mason Brown. They serve you with the fruit already in the package. Old boy raisins. And toasted bran flakes. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Today, Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal that comes out of the box with the fruit already in the package, brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingle. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Rock of Black Hill. I wonder if there are any of you cowpokes out there listening who have never actually tasted Kellogg's wonderful raisin bran. You know, they're those crisp golden bran flakes with the fruit right in the package. And what fruit? Big, sweet, plump raisins, oodles of them, and every one honeycomb coated to make them just perfect. Almost a breakfast by itself. Kellogg's raisin bran. So do yourself a big favor and ask Mom today to get you Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the fruit right in the package. United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles met some strange people in their dangerous business of upholding law and order in the Old West. They met one who led them close to death when they hit the trail to the rocks of Black Hill. Well, here we go again. Now, what are we chasing this time, Bill? Bank robbers, rustlers, or killers? It's nothing as big as that, Jingles. There's a girl that lives in a ranch out this way, and she reported that her grandfather disappeared four days ago. That's nothing. My grandpa disappears all the time. <laughs> he goes fishing. Grandma goes and brings him back. Now, I don't think this old boy's going fishing. Not out in the middle of this desert country. Well, maybe he's gone fishing for snakes. Eh? Pack rats. Maybe horny toads. He him. said he didn't take a horse. Just wandered off into the desert and didn't come back. No, well, we'll find him all right. He probably just got tired of listening to his granddaughter talk. Women talk an awful lot. There's a ranch house right beside the trail up ahead. Pick it up, Buckshot. Get along, Gilder. That's a ranch house? (laughs) See a house and a barn, but where's the ranch? Pretty dry and dusty, isn't it? Yeah, nothing but sagebrush and cactus. Easy, Gilder. Ooh, Buckshot. Well, I don't get it, Bill. Why would anybody live out here in the middle of nowhere? Mm, I don't know, Jingles, but we'll find out. Here she comes now. Hello there. I'm Sally Blaine. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Marshal Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok, that is. And I'm his deputy, Jingles. I'm so glad you could come and help me. Well, that's our job, ma'am. Glad to do it. One of the neighbors was going to town. That's how I sent you the note. Neighbors? I don't see another house within 20 miles. Well, that's where the neighbors live, 20 miles down the trail on the other side of Black Hill. We have to be neighborly out here on the desert. There aren't many of us living out here. Have these neighbors of yours seen your grandfather at all? Yes, they did. The day after he left here, they saw him climbing up Black Hill. Well, I thought Bill said he didn't take a horse when he he left. He didn't. He said he was just going out for a walk. And the neighbors saw him 20 miles away from here the next day? Well, that's right. Granddaddy's very healthy for an old man. He loves the desert, and he likes to go on long walks. And I love to eat, too. But I wouldn't walk 20 miles for a whole turkey dinner. Well, Granddaddy's an amateur geologist, Jingles. And Black Hill's a wonderful place for him to collect specimens. Specimens of what? If he's a geologist, he collects rocks, Jingles. Oh, looks to me like there's enough rocks right around your house. Well, Granddaddy's always looking for something new to add to his collection. I'm sure he's all right. He just gets so interested in exploring, he forgets to come home. Have you gone out looking for him yourself? Every day, but I haven't found him yet. I'm not very good at following a trail. Well, Wild Bill is the best man in the business when it comes to trailing. You just saddle a horse, Miss Sally, and we'll find your grandpa no matter where he is. Cut that out, Joker. Cut it out and simmer down. Joker's awfully skittish, isn't he? Well, not usually. Since we brought that other horse along for your grandpa, 
Well, Joker figures I should change off once in a while and give him a rest. You know, Joker's almost as lazy as Jingle, Sally. <laughs> he ain't lazy. He just can't stand to see a horse carrying an empty saddle when Joker has to carry me. Well, that empty saddle, Wild Bill. Any more signs of Granddaddy? Oh, sure. He came this way all right, but he wandered all over the desert in doing it. Well, that's what he does when he's looking for new rocks. Uh, did he have any food or water with him? Oh, yes. He took some food in his canteen. He knows enough about the desert to do that. He's all right, then. Here's some more footprints in the sand. And there's where he sat down to rest a while. Whoa, what shot? Oh. You see that? He took a rest in the shade of that smoke bush. Took a drink out of his canteen and then set it down in the sand. By golly, that's right, Bill. Yeah, it looks like he stayed here for quite a while. Well, how do you know that while, Bill? About an hour later, when the sun had moved around, your grandfather moved over here and took a little nap. Well, it's just marvelous what you can tell from a few signs. Oh, Bill, like an old hound dog. He can follow a trail when I can't see a doggone thing. There's something else, Jingles. Come on, let's take a look. What is it, Bill? Huh? See that little mound of sand? Yeah. Well, Grandpa evidently got tired of carrying rocks around with him, and he buried them in the sand. That means he planned to come back this way. Hey, well, some of these rocks are real pretty. Hey, one of those rocks is mighty valuable, partner. What do you mean, Wild Bill? This one here is a chunk of gold quartz. Mighty rich, too. Wonder where he found that. Woo-wee! Look at the streaks of gold in it. Huh. Looks like Grandpa struck it rich. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Miss Sally? I guess so. I'd be a lot happier if we could find Granddaddy. Maybe we have found him. Look up there on the ridge. Where? Up there on Black Hill. I think it is Granddaddy. But who are the two men on horseback riding behind him? Bill looks like they're herding him along like a maverick calf. Well, why would they do that? I don't know. Hey, they stopped now. They're looking down this way. There's something's wrong, Bill. Hey, he's sighting a rival at us. Get out. With the fruit right in the package. Raisins, raisins, raisins. Golly wranglers, there sure are a lot of raisins in a box of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. And when you pour those crisp bran flakes into your cereal bowl, you can see these sure are no ordinary raisins either. Yes, sir, these raisins are something special. They're fresh and plump and sweet. And they're covered all over with Kellogg's secret honeycomb coating to keep them that way. Just one bowl of Kellogg's Raisin Bran will show you just how extra good tasting those honeycomb-coated raisins can make a cereal. And the Kellogg folks tumble lots of those honeycomb-coated raisins right in with their crisp golden bran flakes to give you a wonderful cereal treat with the fruit already in it. That's Kellogg's Raisin Bran, and it's delicious. So why not round up your mom and... Tell her you'd like to have this swell-tasting cereal and fruit combination real soon. Tell her to get Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the fruit right in the package. While Wild Bill, Sally, and Jingles looked up at the ridge of Black Hill, they saw one of the two mounted men sighting a rifle. As Bill yelled a warning, the man fired... Keep your head down, Miss Sally. He shoots pretty good. Well, why is he shooting at us? He probably knows who we are. It's pretty hard to miss Jingles, and there aren't many girls around this desert. What are we going to do, Bill? Stay here and let him keep pouring lead at us? Nope. I'm going to get the rifle off my saddle and send a little lead back at him. Well, be careful you don't hit Granddaddy. Now, don't you worry about Grandpa. He's staying out of the way, and Bill never hits anything he don't aim at. That stirred him up. Look at Grandpa. He's running down the hill this way. Well, those men are riding after him. Good shooting, Bill. That changed your mind. Look at him hightailing over that ridge. Come on, Sally. Let's go get your grandfather before he gets into more trouble. Well, here he comes climbing down that pile of rocks. He doesn't look like he's hurt any. No, he looks fine. Granddaddy, here we are. Oh. Oh, Buckshot. Good, oh, Joker. Oh. Granddaddy, are you all right? Oh, Sally girl. Sure, sure, I'm all right. But I'm plumb mad at them two-legged coyotes. What'd they do to you? Why, they've been hurting me around for two days. Say, for two days. 
Keep saying he'd kill me if I didn't lead him to where I found the gold quartz. We knew you'd found gold. Pretty rich, too. Mm, indeed, he sure is. But then I'm just a rock hound. Yeah. I found a lot of rocks prettier than that quartz. You mean you didn't stake out a claim? Why, of course not. Why, why, what's an old man like me want with a gold mine? You know, I got a good hobby for my old age, and I don't want to work no gold mine. Did you ever stop to think that Sally might like a gold mine so she could buy some of the things she wants? Mm. Oh, never mind, Jingles. I'm happy just to have Granddaddy safe again. Eh? Hey, Jingles, huh? <laughs> Yeah, well, them two owl hoots said you must be Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles, and they acted like they was pretty unhappy with you on their trail. Well, that's who we are, all right. Well, I'm sure glad to know you. Just call me Gramps. Everybody else but Sally does. We weren't trailing those two, Gramps. We were looking for you. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry to cause you to trouble. I'd have been home long before this if they hadn't they grabbed me one day while I was resting and looking at my samples. They, they spotted the gold right away. Yeah, then they wanted to know where you got it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I say, that's right. And for the life of me, I couldn't remember. You know, I, oh, I picked it up somewhere as long this way. I say, somewhere as long here, but I don't know where. Well, I don't care if you never find it again. I brought a horse for you, and I'm taking you home to rest. Oh, shucks, I feel all right. Just kind of tired. But uh, this thing's got me curious. Now, uh, let's take a little walk up the slope and see if we can't find that quartz again. Now, what Jingle said about a gold mine for Sally strikes me as a right good idea. Well, that's fine with me. Except you said walk. No, I don't care much for that. What if those two men come back? No, I don't think they'll make another play till they think we found the gold. That's what they want. You mean we're going to climb that mountain, Bill? On foot? That's just a big hill, Jingles. <laughs> you leave the horses here and come on. You know, maybe we can set a little trap for those gems. Yeah, when Bill says he's going to set a trap, Sally, he usually means that we're going to be the bait. Now, I don't think there's too much to worry about. Well, you lead the way, Graham. Yep, yep, that's sure. Yeah, hey, let's start up this way. Now, uh, see, right about here is where I found that real pretty sea light. Uh, yeah, 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 and over yonder on that ledge is where I picked up the garnets. He say, uh, whoop, whoop, hold it. What's the matter? Hmm. Found a chunk of malachite. Oh, that green rock? Yeah. Pretty, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Put it in your pocket, Jingles. Mine's all full. All right. Hey, this is heavy. Yeah. Five or six pounds. Well, let's get moving. Hey, look at that. Yeah, feldspar. Mm-hmm. Nice-looking specimens, too. See, nice-looking. Yeah, scoop up a few and put them in your pocket, Jingles. Now, just a minute. Oh, Granddaddy, you shouldn't make Jingles carry all those rocks. No, oh, why not? He's bigger than a pack horse. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been able to take home all the rocks that I want to. All right, Gramps, if it keeps you happy, but take it easy, will you? I'm beginning to... I say I'm beginning to sag a little. <laughs> Let me see here. We found the feldspar back there, and the rose quartz, and then the crystal. Bill, Bill, that gold bearing quartz has got to be right here, Summers. Well, oh, wait a minute. I don't think I can move another step. Yeah, sure. I can't carry another rock. I'm beginning to buckle at the knees. Gramp sure has us all loaded down, Jingle. Yeah. Even got rocks under my hat. Kind of top heavy, Bill. Don't lean over to the right too far, Jingles. You fall down. I can't help it. Locks on that side is the heaviest. Bill, Bill, I'm tripping. Lean the other way, Jingles. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Jingles, are you hurt? Not much, but I can't get up. I'm so loaded with the rocks, I'm stuck to the ground. Come on, I'll help you up, Jingles. Bill, you couldn't help me up with a block and tackle in both our horses. You better start unloading my pockets. Oh, Granddaddy shouldn't have done this to you, Jingles. I'll say he shouldn't. Gramps, you won't. Now, where did he go, Bill? Oh, I don't know. He was right here. There he is, up near the top of the ridge. Oh, that man. He never thinks about anything but his precious rock. Well, I'll give him something else to think about as soon as you two get me unloaded. I hope Gramps doesn't wander too far away. You know, those two Jaspers that captured him before are probably still around here somewhere. That's right. Why haven't they taken another shot at him? Well, they're probably watching to see if Gramps finds that gold quartz again. If he does, look out for trouble. Well, that's most of the big rocks, Jingles. 
You can stand up now. Yeah. Well, hey! <laughs> Feel a hundred pounds lighter. Well, just leave those rocks piled there, Jingle. We'll carry them down to the horses later. Yeah, don't worry. I'm through hauling them for the day. Hurry up, partner. I want to catch up with Graham. Oh, I wish he'd come back. He should have stayed with us. Hey, Graham! Wait for us! Hey, right here! I found him! He found what? Hey, here's the gold clerk! Right here! That does it. Anybody within a half a mile could have heard that. <laughs> Somebody's shooting a granddaddy. Just what Bill was afraid of. Hey, Graham! Take cover! Get down on those boats! Shots are from up on top of the ridge, Gene. Yeah, from that big nest of boulders. Find a big rock, Sally, and get behind it. And keep your head down. There's going to be enough hot lead flying around here in a minute to build a statue of General Grant. I saw where that one came from. Get him, Bill? Uh, I didn't have a clear shot, but I sure made him duck for cover. Well, they've quit shooting at Gramps, now they're shooting at us. we got to smoke them out of there or they'll have Gramps for sure. They want to stake the first claim on that gold. <laughs> Bill, don't stand up. Bill's just standing up to get a clear shot, Sally. But they'll get him. When Bill starts shooting, don't worry about him. Worry about those jaspers up on the ridge. Big, big breakfast, good, good snacks. Wing to Kellogg's Sugar Smack. <laughs> Boys and girls, when you see the clowns at the circus, you have a smackin' good time watching. And when you see the clowns on a box of Kellogg's Sugar Smacks, you have a smackin' good time eating. Yes, sir, those better never puffs of wheat are sugar toasted and candy sweet. That's why Kellogg's Sugar Smacks are a barrel of fun every time, whether you eat them right out of the box for snacks or out of your bowl for breakfast. Fact is, everything about Kellogg's Sugar Smacks is fun. The big, bright circus red box with the real live circus clowns on the front. And inside the box, sugar-toasted puffs of wheat that just can't be beat for crispness and flavor. You know your smacks will stay crisp and fresh, too, with that special inner wrapper of pure aluminum foil. Yep, for big, big breakfast and for good, good snacks, Nothing's more fun than Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. Double charged with energy from both wheat and sugar. Be sure to ask Mom for the better never puffs of wheat, sugar toasted and candy sweet, Kellogg's Smackin' Good Sugar Smacks. <laughs> Gramps yelled to Bill that he'd found the gold quartz. He drew the fire of the two outlaws who'd been hiding on the ridge. While Bill and Jingles, protecting Gramps and Miss Sally, cut loose with their own fire to drive the attackers undercover. Jingles, keep those coyotes down behind those rocks while I go see what's happened to Gramps. Bill, don't you go scrambling up that hill. They'll pick you off like a stuffed crow sitting on a corral fence. I've got to, Jingles. Just keep me covered. Oh, doggone it. I wish Bill wouldn't go sticking his neck out like this. Oh, I think he's just wonderful to go after Granddaddy like that. Yeah, I suppose he is. But it would have been more wonderful if your grandpa hadn't hollered about finding that gold cord. Uh-oh, they're shooting at Bill. Get your no-good heads back in them rocks, you weasels, before I knock them off your shoulders. Uh, you're pretty wonderful yourself, Jingles. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Sally. I just saw some shirt tails flying over that ridge. Guess I ran them out for a while. Jingles! That's Bill. Yeah, Bill, what is it? Come on up there. Gramps is all right. What about Miss Sally? Bring her along with you. Won't she get shot? It's safe enough. Just stay to the left of those big rocks. All right. Now, come on, Miss Sally. Sounds like Bill's kind of excited. I hope Granddaddy's all right. And you sure worry about your grandpa, don't you? Well, I have to. When he starts out to look for rocks, he'd walk right over the edge of a cliff. He just doesn't think of anything else. There's your grandpa safe and sound. There's Bill. Bill, are you all right? Sure, Jingles. Here, let me help you up here on the left, Sally. Oh, Woo-wee! Look at all the gold sticking out of that vein of course. Granddaddy, are you all right? Oh, sure am I. Yeah, I'm sure I'm all right. Did you bring my rocks, Jingles? No, I didn't bring your rocks. Mm. Just a few little ones I got left in my pocket. And don't worry about the rocks Jingles left behind. Let's get some stakes on this claim. Then we'll ride to the county seat and register it in Sally's name. Well, that's wonderful, Wild Bill. 
But the first thing I'll do with my money is to hire a guardian for Granddaddy. <laughs> too much for me to look after alone. Yeah, <laughs> you better buy a pack mule for him, too, to carry his rock. <laughs> oh, sure. Bunch of dad burn sissies. I've been up for four days, and I ain't worried about carrying a few little old rocks. Let's get out the argument and get this claim staked out. Well, just tell us what to do. Well, it's simple. Now, you just make a little pile of rocks at each corner, then you go and record your claim. Then some mining company will pay you a fortune to develop the mine. Hold it right there. <gasps> Bill! Where'd them two come from? Go for your guns. We've both got you covered. You were just saying some mining company pay a fortune for this claim. <laughs> it's like we got here just in time. Dad, blame it. I forgot about you two salamanders. Just keep your hands in your pockets, big boy. <laughs> that way I can't grab for your holster. You can't get away with this, mister. I know who you are, Hickok. You're dangerous to a gent in my business. I'm getting rid of you right now. <laughs> get him, Zeke. All right. <laughs> what? He hit me with a rock. Shoot him. Oh, I can't. This big moose is all over me. I knocked his gun out of his hand. Get him, Grant. Good. Let's get rid of your gun, too, mister. Not just yet. I've got no time to fool with you. And I'm sitting on this one, Bill. He's through for the day. No, get off of me. You're smashing me. I'll break your jaw. He got food. You'll have to hit harder than that. Like this. Get it. Get off of me, you elephant. You're killing me. All right, all right. Stick out your hands. I'm going to tie you up now, and then I'll tie your boss up when he wakes up. Well, what are you going to tie him with, Jingle? Your ropes are down with the horses. Well, then hand me some of them rocks. What for, partner? Well, I'm going to stuff these varmints' pockets with rocks like mine were stuffed a while ago. If they try to escape from me, they'll find themselves face down on the ground like they had an anchor tied to them. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Wednesday, Wild Bill and Jingles pick up the trail of a vicious killer and his accomplice. And if you kids like action, this story has it. Don't miss Riding for a Fall. So long, kids. See you Wednesday. <laughs> Wranglers, the Kellogg folks have been on a big roundup. They've corralled all your favorite cereals into one pack, Kellogg's Variety Pack. Golly, you get Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Raisin Bran, and even new ready-sweetened cereals you like so much. Ten big personal portion boxes in all that keep your favorite cereals extra fresh till you break them open. So how's about it, partner? Why not ask Mom to rope Kellogg's Variety Pack for you next time she shops? That's Kellogg's Variety Pack. Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereal, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Gene Bates, Forrest Lewis, and Jim Nusser. Our story was written and directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Rourke. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again on Wednesday, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild Bill Hickok! <laughs>